Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mm -mm. So it seems the brother has a misconception about the Maliki Madhab, uh, much like a lot of people do uh, on any Madhab, unfortunately. So let's clear this up real quick. So most people think that Imam Malik um, prayed with his hands down due to injuries that he sustained over his life. 110% untrue. Let's think about this, shall we? Number one, if he couldn't raise his hands to fold them in front of him, right over left, how could he hold his weight up on his knees in ruku? Number two, if something was wrong with his arms or his shoulders, then most definitely he couldn't hold his own weight uh, when he went into sujood or to push himself off of the ground to get back into qiyam. So let's assume for one second that due to his injuries, he could not fold his hands. Wouldn't he tell his students, look, I am unable myself personally to raise my hands or put my hands to my chest. Uh, so I want all of you to put your hands on your chest and I have like a ruksa or dispensation to hold my arms to my sides. But he never said that. That's the point. Imam Malik instructed the people to pray with their arms to their side because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was seen praying with his arms to his sides. No, what do you mean? What? Where? Where's the hadith? I'm going to leave it to you to do the research, inshallah, because it's an ongoing thing. But it's even sahih. Imam Malik did not make up his own religion. We know that all of the four a'imma or all the four imams uh, extrapolated their decisions and their rulings per the Quran and the Sunnah. I have close friends that have been studying in the University of Medina uh, for 20 plus years, Hanbali, Shafi'i, and Hanafi. And all of them are saying, no, there's nothing wrong with putting your hands to your side. That's the Maliki Mashur opinion. So due to that, uh, I trust people that have been studying Dean 20 plus years uh, over arguing with somebody here in TikTok. I just won't do it. So the ball's in your court if you want to find out all of the Sahih uh, hadith about it or not. It's up to you. It doesn't bother me at all. Ignorance is not a good look for us Muslims. So let's do something about that and learn our deen.